Hi, welcome back. My name is Dr. Gary Bettacher, and in this video we're going to be looking at what's called linear hashing. In the previous video for this unit, we looked at what's called extendable hashing, and now we're going to look at something a little bit different called linear hashing. But without further ado, let's take a look at the example behind me. Thanks. Let me explain the difference between linear hashing and extendable hashing. On the board behind me, I have several terms which we need to go over. First of which is, we work with linear hashing, we have a value called n, which refers to the, which bucket we're on. And so, <clears throat> it's going to be zero, that means this is the bucket we'll split on when we need to do a split. Secondly, we have m, which is the number of buckets, in this case, two. Third, we need to have a split policy. When do we go about splitting? Well, we're going to say in this case that if the total number of items <coughs> relative to the number of buckets is greater than 75%, then we need to do a split. And the third thing we have is a bucket capacity, which we'll assume is 2 in this example. So starting out, we have two buckets here, and I've identified them as bucket 0, bucket 1. Bucket 0 has the value 8. Bucket 1 has value 13, and we want to add the following items in the following order. 10, 15, 19, and 22. So let's add the items, walk through, and see what's going on. First of all, our N will be pointing to bucket number 0. So if we need to do a split, that's where it will occur. Now working with the value 10, we, we do the following. We do 10 mod 2, which gives us a remainder of 0. So we will place the 10 over here. Now to determine whether or not we need to do a split, we do the following. We count up the number of items, in this case 3. We divide it by the number of buckets, which is 2, times the bucket capacity, which is 2. So it's 3 over 4. Now 3 over 4 is 75 percent. It doesn't exceed it, so we're okay. We don't need to do a split. Now let's try to add the 15. Obviously 15 mod 2 is a remainder of 1. We'll be placing that in the 1 bucket. Notice we've not exceeded the bucket capacity of 2. However, when we take a look, we have 4 items divided by two buckets times bucket capacity of two, that's obviously one, and since that's greater than 75 percent, we need to do a bucket split. Now let me explain how this bucket split works. In extendable hashing, when we had to change the directory, we literally doubled the size from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. In linear hashing, all we do is that we add one bucket at a time anytime we need to do a split. And notice we really don't have a directory like we did in extendable hashing. Our data is contained within the directory. So to add one bucket at a time, we do the following. We create another bucket now I think I'll make it a solid red. This will be bucket number 2. The end value, which is 0, will change to 1. So our n is 1. And now we need to see whether or not we can redistribute any of the items. Now notice we put the 15 over here. The 15 caused a split to occur, but we have to test all the items to see if they go down here. Now before we were applying mod 2 to the first two buckets, since we did a split here, this becomes mod 4, I don't know if you can read that, and this new bucket will use mod 4, and the old bucket over here which <coughs> hasn't changed yet is still mod 2. So 8 mod 4 is what? Well, it's uh, going to be 2 with a remainder of 0. So that will stay in that bucket. Now 10 mod 2 
is 2 remainder 2, so we put the value 10 over here. The 13 and the 15 are both mod 1. They don't change at this particular point. So for bucket 1, we're applying mod 4 in the future. Bucket 2, we apply mod 2 still because we have a nice split. And this new split bucket is using mod 4. So we've just added the 15. Now let's go and add the next number which is 19. Well, it turns out 19 being an odd number will go here in, the, in bucket number 1. The problem is the bucket capacity is 2 and what are we going to do? Well, we have an unusual case there. We don't check for a split yet. We do what's called an overflow. So we add a brand new bucket, kind of a pointer over there. We place the value 19 over there and this is different than a split. The overflow says, okay, we, we exceeded the capacity, we put this bucket out here. Now we still need to check for a, whether we have exceeded what's called the load factor. Okay, and the load factor in this case is greater than 75%. Now what are we going to do? Well, we count up the number of items, one, two, three, four, five items. I think I'll put this in black. We have five items. Now to figure the number of slots, we do one, two, three slots times two is six. So we have five over six, which is obviously greater than 75%. So we need to do another bucket split. Now in this case, what we will do is the following. We look where n is pointing. n is pointing to this value one. So that's the bucket we're going to split. As I said, with linear hashing, you add one bucket at a time. So we add bucket number three. And we will look at the following. We look at the values 13, 15, and 19. When we look at the values 13, 15, and 19, we ask ourselves, well, do they stay in bucket number one or bucket number three? Before we do this, we note the following. Before we were using mod 2, it's now mod 4, and this new bucket we use mod 4 also. So all the buckets are using mod 4. We ask ourselves the following question. 13 mod 4 is 3 remainder 1, so that will stay in that bucket. 15 mod 4 will be 3 remainder 3, so it gets moved down to here. Take the 15 out. And finally, 19 mod 4 will be uh, 4 mod 3. So the 19 goes down here too. We also take away the overflow bucket in this particular case. Now, two things I want to point out. When you have an overflow bucket and you're wanting to figure out the you know, load factor, so you can figure whether you need to do a split or not, you count up the number of items, but you divide by the capacity times the number in the main directory. You do not count the overflow buckets. So if we have something like this, and let's see, I put number 16 here. We'd have one, two, three, four, five, six items, but one, two, three, four slots. So that'd be six over four times two. Bucket capacity, that's you know, 6 over 8, 75 would be okay. So we didn't count this as another slot. Now look what we've done. We've gone through n is 0, n is 1. We've gone through all the values of n because we initially started with two slots here. What we do is we reset n back to 0. So n is pointing to the first one. The number of buckets, since we've exhausted them, literally doubles, and we're going to be working with we're going to be working with mod four all the way through. So we've added 19. Now let's add 22. 